Cycle Talk's been having a look at the new Kawasaki KLX 250 SF. Now, this is a new super motard style machine from Kawasaki. It's based on the KLX 250 trail bike that's been around for a while, and it's a, it's a good little thing. It's a spirited, good fun to ride through suburbia and, uh, and around town, and it's really perfect for learners, fully learner approved, and uh, so everybody can ride one of these machines. Now, it's powered by a 250cc liquid cooled single cylinder engine. Now, this, uh, this is the carburetted version, KLX, KLX engine and uh, the choke lever sits behind the frame rail which is a little bit disappointing and uh, will catch out some learners but owners will get used to it pretty quick. Now perfectly suited to inner city life, uh, great bike for around town and uh, not too bad on the open road but the uh, the upright riding position which is fantastic when you're in traffic and when you're learning and uh, having plenty of steering lock and things like that when you do get out on the freeway yeah you are sitting up like a windsock but hey if you're a learner and you're limited in your speed because of your peak plates or whatever you uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue anyway now it does have reasonable spirited performance if you're happy to use the gearbox as you can see getting around these cars not too hard at all and uh, as we go around this uh, left hand corner in front of us here it'll uh, head up the hill now through this uh, camera it doesn't look as steep as it really was and uh, this bike gets up the hill really quite well uh, there's plenty of uh, plenty of performance considering it's a uh, learner approved bike it's a lot of fun Handling is actually very good. Being a super motard style motorcycle means that it's got fat tyres and, and good brakes and it throws through corners very, very well. So we're very happy with the uh, handling of this machine. Seat comfort is only average. It's based on a trail bike and trail bikes have narrow seats that are fairly firm. And there's also a tool pouch at the back of it. The styling of the machine is, is very super motard. But, uh, the paint job actually makes it look more like a road bike. The, this model we tested had the blue and, and the black blue wheels. I think it looked fantastic. These, uh, there's a tiny little cowling above the instruments there, above the headlight but uh, that doesn't do much. There's not a lot of wind protection. You are sitting up in the wind as you'd expect on a machine based on a, uh, on a trail bike. So, uh, there is also not much of a front mudguard there. It sits right up high. Instruments are very techo, very high tech and uh, are great. They work really, really well. We're very impressed with those. So you get out there, get on the open road and you will feel a little bit like a windsock, but if you're in suburbia, if you're in the tighter stuff or if you're stuck in traffic, you could be a lot worse off. This is a great bike for that sort of thing. So get a new Kawasaki dealer, check it out. $72.99 plus on-road costs, so uh, not too badly priced. And uh, you're getting Japanese quality and uh, a good handling package that will prove reliable for many years. So a uh, lot of fun, great bike, and perfect for anybody who considers himself a learner.